Before you watch this, if you have not yet watched my Big Chop video, go on over and watch it. I'm going to link it in the card above. So go on over, watch that before you watch this, and then you'll come back and watch it. I don't know where the big old bumpy I come from. Look like somebody loves me, but they don't want to tell me. So guys, um, I already filmed the video, but this part I just want to add because... I wanted to add it to the first video, but then I realized that I don't think I should add it to the first one. So I no. cut it and I made two videos because one is more inspirational and the next one is about the hair. And I don't want it to get lost in the video because I know that not everybody watched the video out to the end and someone need to hear this. Right? So, hi, Nessa is telling you just do it. I know that you may be thinking, you know, wonder if I do this, if it's going to work out or if it's going to look right or what people are going to say or whatever. But can I tell you something? Probably five years from now, ten years from now, you're going to be the one looking back and say, you know, if me didn't know, like if me didn't know, know me and tell you, yo, start now, act now, do it. Like do it. Don't wait until later because... At the end of the day, you need to ensure that you're happy and you're fulfilling what fulfilling what you want to do. Once it's not detrimental, once it's in the will of God, once it's going to make you happy, just go out and do it. Do it. Don't wait till tomorrow. If you want to invest at the perfect time to invest now, if you want to cut a year, perfect time to in, cut a year in spring. Even though spring gone yeah, but yeah, you understand what I say. <laughs> yeah, but just go out and do it. Don't think about tomorrow. Do it. New beginning, new start. Start now. Hat now. Think big. Alright, so guys, so this is a very quick um message, inspirational somewhat. So I just thought of this, right? Now, a lot of times we want to do stuff and we are so scared of doing it. We're wondering what we're going to look like, what people are going to think of us, how people are going to perceive us and all that. And we end up don't doing it. But at the back of our mind, we want to do it. But because of the thought of what people think, um, we don't do it. And I must say, for years, I wanted to do this. Like for years, even when... Um, I decided that I wanted to go natural. I wanted to just start afresh and um, I didn't, I didn't cut it. I didn't do the big chop or anything. I just transitioned over and I kept braiding it, braiding it, braiding it. And this has been like probably five, probably six years ago. And um, when I started, I, it, it grew very fast and it was very thick and very nice and then I was like okay natural year natural year you know that you can do anything with natural year so I dyed it I bleached it and then dyed it and then my hair fell off and even when it fell off I knew it was very damaged and I still transitioned over each time like my hair would grow out I would clip it and that's how I got rid of the the bleached end and I did it again I bleached it twice and I was like maybe I didn't do it the right the first time and um I did it and the same thing and then I was like okay so last year I think it was December in December I decided that you know I'm gonna lighten my hair because it's a bit too thick I'm going to texturize it just to give it light and give it that curly curly you know 4c here that you're looking at and I tell you the truth I did it right I did everything correct and when I was done with it I wasn't pleased because I don't have the thickest of here I have very light here and the fact that it um lightened my hair and then for, for some because you know if you put in the texturize over this side you know that this side is going to be more processed Going to process faster than that side so it was a bit off and for the first two weeks i was okay but i wasn't even i wasn't really happy for the fact that um i thought i could just wash and go and all that but i could catch it up manage it better and then for the next for the following month after that you know my hair start growing and you can see the different texture and my hair start breaking and i was like okay i think i did a bad job 
I think I did. I was so crazy. I just can't wait for the ends to grow. And then in February, in February, I cut it off down to here. I didn't cut it all. Right, I cut it down to here just to get rid of the excess string, the excess um, the 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 stringy, just to make it don't make it look so. So I cut it off so that it doesn't look that bad. Right, and I just cut it just to about here. So my hair was like this, and I cut it, and I was okay with it. But then today, today, I decided that you know I need to to get my hair together because it's been, it's like four inches long, and then the texturized end is it just it just didn't look good. And I was going, to, I, as you can see, I was going to twist it, and then I was just like, oh. Because even when it reached the end, it wasn't staying because it was too straight. So I said, you know what? You know what? I'm just going to face my fear and I'm just going to cut it. Because for years, I thought it wasn't going to fit me. For years, I thought that, you know, I wasn't going to be comfortable in myself. And I was like, what the heck? Everything. I decided that like, this year, I don't know if you guys feel it. It's just like... A new beginning for me. It feel like it feel like, it feel as if I'm starting over life all over again. And I was like, okay, if my life is starting over and I'm doing things differently this year, why not start a new journey, right? Why not? And I, I, I don't have that thing that you use to curl it yet. I'm going to buy it, but I am okay with it. The good thing about it, I can always. I can always throw on a wig and it can braid because it's not that short. But I'm glad for this new this new chapter in my life. And I want you guys to come on that journey with me because I know at first I wanted to do hair, but honestly I couldn't come on here with my hair saying and it wasn't healthy that like what could I really talk about when my hair is not healthy unless I'm gonna talk about wigs and all those stuff. But guys naturally and guys and a bad patch here so and the ocean and jelly just bad just liquid you just bad man mm -hmm. anyway yeah, so this is the new journey come on and that journey with me i'm going to show you how i do my flock seed and chia seed gel i realized that actually working for me and the aloe vera gel is, is working also i'm gonna see if i can get some um castor oil to get it more thick and all that but differently from that just come and take this journey girl guys i never get my hair to pass certain length like right here and this time around i'm going to take care of my hair and i want you guys to come on this journey with me because i know it's hard for us for a seed here and i just i'm just glad for this new beginning tell me if it suits me if you like this video give this video a thumbs up don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Yeah. Tell me what you think. You think it fits me? I like it. I like it.